If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome to another episode of Learn Loadrunner series. In this episode, we are going to see how to create graphs in analysis and also we are going to see some important uh, basic configurations in analysis which will help you to analyze your results. The first thing you should know is whenever the controller uh, results exceeds 100 MB, your analysis will take some time to generate and to aggregate your results. So if it is more than 100 MB, you can uh, verify the complete status of the aggregation in the status bar. So right now, my result has been analyzed successfully. That is why it is displaying the message complete data. In case if there is a more data to aggregate, it will display the progress bar in the status. So at that time, no need to work on the analysis because it is it will be still analyzing and aggregating your results. So make sure that you are analyzing your results using the complete data, not the partial data available in analysis. So that is one important point to note. And next thing is you should configure your analysis based on your requirements. So to configure the important stuffs, I'm going to list out now. So go to tools menu and click on options. So here in general tab, make sure that you are selecting the right date format based on your region. So in my case, I'm selecting US and if you just see the uh, summary report uh, section here, I have entered 95th percentile. So by default, I always uh, uh, want analysis to generate 95 percentile, not 90. Because 95 percentile, the confidence level is pretty much higher than 90, which will give you uh, more uh, issues with respect to uh, response time and other parameters. So I always go with 95th percentile and I most of the time I use absolute time by default. So if you don't want to use absolute time, you can uncheck this box. But I prefer these three options. One is the date format is US and the transaction percentile is 95th percentile and absolute time is uh, by default. Our next set of options will be in result collection. So in result collection tab, I select display summary while generating complete data. So this will help you to see the summary report while generating the complete data. But you can select summary only or complete data or you can go for the third option. And data aggregation, I always select automatically aggregate data to optimize the performance. And I select always the entire scenario. I don't want to uh, specify the first uh, 15 minutes or first 30 minutes, etc. I always go with entire scenario. Then I will manually change the uh, time series. So these two tabs are pretty much important. Uh, the third tab, database, by default, analysis will use MS Access. But you can use SQL Server or SQLite based on your needs. So if you want to configure SQL Server, you can go for this second option which will enable you to enter the server details, username, password, uh, shared folder details, and also you can test your parameters and then you can uh, compact your database. So uh, this will be very helpful if you are generating and aggregating uh, uh, more number of data, uh, gigabytes of data. So if you have a facility to uh, afford the SQL Server to analyze, you can use it. But in, in if you if you don't have SQL Server uh, stuff, you can uh, use SQL Lite, which is light version of a uh, SQL. But I always go with MS Access because I don't generate gigabytes of uh, data in analysis. So go for MS Access by default. And other stuffs are uh, you can leave it as a uh, default uh, options. So not much uh, required of uh, as of now. You will see when session goes to advanced uh, analytics, we can see about uh, web page and diagnostics and analyze transaction settings. So these are the few settings I will take care before I uh, 
analyze my results and first step what i'll do is i always configure the sla so by default uh, you will not uh, uh, get any sla uh, status in the uh, results so here you, ca you can see the in the table in the summary report uh, the table represents the uh, transaction name and its uh, response time and also the various uh, parameters if you see the sla status which is uh, not available so you need to configure the sla so to configure sla what you can do is uh, you can go to uh, reports you know and click on analyze sla so here it will display the uh, sla uh, report has uh, stating that uh, sla rules are not defined so first thing you need to define the sla then you can have to generate the report so to define the sla what you can do you can go to tools menu and click on configure sla rules so here it will display the rules which are you already configured right now i have not configured any rules that is why it is displaying no sla rules configured so i am going to configure the sla for the transaction response time so just hit uh, new and this is a wizard it's pretty pretty simple uh, it is straightforward there is not 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 much to um, um, enter any code related or uh, other stuffs you have to just enter the sla uh, values and uh, you have to keep clicking next button so click on next and here you can you have to select the measurement for your uh, goal so in our case we are going to create a sla for the percentile as yes, percentile for uh, response time so i have to select transaction response time and i'm going to select percentile and i'm going to hit next and here it will display the available transactions so right now i have only three transactions so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add all three to the sla and i'm going to click on next and here i'm going to apply the percentile uh, for 95th and i'm going to apply the threshold as uh, one second and i'm going to apply to all the actions so action transaction will have the sla of one second of 90th percentile similarly end and in it also will have one second of sla uh, for the 95th percentile and i'm going to hit next and if you want to define another sla you can check this box uh, and then uh, you have to repeat the steps again so but i'm not going to define another sla and i'm going to click on finish so now once you click on finish you cannot uh, uh, see the sla uh, report generated so what you have to do is you have to click on a close button then only your rules will get applied to the summary report so now you can see the action transaction sla status is failed because the actual value is 1.449 but the goal is uh, 1 similarly if you see the views are end and in it it succeeded because the actual is zero but the goal is one that is why it is displaying as succeeded now if you go to summary report if you go to the table which uh, which has the sla status now you can see pass or fail a legend so and also you can see the uh, worst transactions five worst tra uh, transactions here uh, so likewise you can define any number of slas for your report so you can define SLA for errors, you can define SLAs for uh, uh, response time, uh, you can define SLAs for uh, uh, throughput, hits per second, uh, average throughput, etc. And if you want to delete uh, the SLA, you can uh, simply uh, select the SLA and you can click on delete. So this will uh, delete the SLA. So you have to click on close, then only it will get reflected and SLA uh, will be uh, related from your report so this is how you uh, work on the sla's uh, in analysis so now we shall see how to create uh, graphs uh, in analysis so by default based on the protocol you have executed you will get uh, 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 some certain number of uh, default graphs so in our case i have uh, five graphs which are generated by default running users hits per second uh, throughput transaction summary and average transaction response time now i need to plot another graph uh, say errors so what you can do is you can just right click on the graph folder and go to add new item and click on add new graph 
So here you can see uh, the number of uh, graphs which are available. So whichever graphs are available, uh, which it will display in the blue color. If you see, all are blue color, which means uh, these parameters uh, data are available. But if you uh, if you want to see everything, what you can do is you can uncheck this uh, checkbox. Uncheck the display only graphs containing data. So if you uncheck this box, it will list out everything, but everything will be in black color. So whichever is in black color, there is no uh, data available. So always check this box so that you can see what data are available for you to plot the graph. So now we shall see how to plot a graph uh, for uh, errors. So I don't think so any errors uh, graphs available. So what we can do is we can plot a graph uh, for um, HTTP status code summary. So just select the appropriate graph and click on open graph. So once you click on open graph, you can see the appropriate graph will be plotted for you and uh, it will display the uh, graphics and also the appropriate uh, data will be displayed in the table format. So likewise, we can create any number of graphs and by selecting the appropriate uh, metrics here. So this is how you plot a graphs in analysis. Now, if you want to identify a bottlenecks, if you want to identify uh, any issues in your uh, from the results, what you can do is uh, you may need to plot multiple graphs uh, by merging together. So by merging uh, uh, running users versus hits or by running users versus throughput. So if you want to merge two or more graphs, you can do it. So now uh, we shall see how to merge between running users with hits per second or vice versa. So what you can do is you can just select any graph and right click on the graph and select merge graphs. Okay. So now if you selected if you select the merge graphs what you can see is in the drop down you can see the appropriate uh, compatible graphs where which you can merge so right now this running user is compatible with these graphs hits per second throughput and average transaction response time so now i'm going to plot a merge graph with uh, hits per second and i'm going to select the uh, type as uh, overlay and i'm going to uh, click on okay so once you click on OK, what will happen is the running users graph will be merged with uh, hits per second and uh, you can see the appropriate graphs. So mainly uh, the X coordinate is, will be the elapsed time and uh, Y axis will be the number of users and Z axis will be the hits per second. And appropriate uh, data will be displayed in the table format. So likewise, you can merge uh, the this graph with uh, say hits per second. Oh sorry, uh, throughput. So again, click on OK. So now you will see uh, running users uh, versus hits per second versus throughput with time. So again, you can, you can merge with uh, say uh, uh, again uh, throughput or average transaction response time. So just uh, click on OK. Again, running users, hits per second, throughput, average transaction response time. Likewise, you can keep merging uh, multiple graphs into one, uh, which will help you to identify the bottleneck. So now, uh, so in this video, we have seen how to uh, configure the uh, settings uh, for your analysis. So we have seen about general tab, uh, result collection and database. And we have seen how to uh, create a graphs. And we have seen how to configure the SLAs. And also we have seen how to merge the uh, multiple graphs into one. So that's it guys from my side. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if not, feel free to move to my next uh, lecture. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.